I wanted to get Eric Mankell Muller, um, syndicated radio host, Fox host, a hit show on History Channel with his brother, uh, Mark Muller. God, Guns, and Automobiles has other big TV shows in development. You know, we had him on yesterday. I noticed on Infowars.com and on the YouTube video that went up this morning, a minority of commenters were like, this guy didn't get offered nine and a half million dollars uh, for a three-year contract for another radio show. That's not even that much for a three-year contract, folks, for those that don't know. And, uh, you know, they're the media, Obama's not trying to buy people off. You know, he didn't get an offer to go uh, not bash the political system. Folks, I've gotten those offers. It's all over the news they're buying off the media through corporate conduits. And, and, and Mancow has made that type of money, I happen to know, he didn't like to brag, in a year in the past when, his, when, when talk radio wasn't uh, collapsing. Uh, you know, back in years like 1998, years like that during the tech boom. I know what went on in radio back then, folks. I know all about it because I've been in it for 18 years, and I work with a small network that doesn't censor me, so I'm paid basically nothing by the GCN radio network. I want to point this out here, give you some inside baseball. That's why I have my own advertisement, my own product. That's how I funded this whole media operation. Nobody else does it the way I do it. I invented this to be able to get the word out by trial and error, but that's a side issue. I want to point out that it took a lot for him to come on air and talk about that yesterday, and, and that he had a lot of courage. That's why we got him on, because he told me about it, and I said, do you have the will to tell that on air? And he did tell that on air. And then you've got fools out there that don't know that Rush Limbaugh makes $45 million a year, that Glenn Beck profits and keeps over $100 million a year, uh, that people like Michael Savage make incredible amounts of money. They just don't know. So, so, so instead of saying, wow, what a hero for, for saying no to all that money, People say, oh, man, Cal's making that up. Well, I'll tell you what he's not making up because this will all go on record right now. And I, I know he's telling the truth because I've had those exact same offers. Harry Lennox, and that's why I got him back on the show. He's got to go, so it's a brief interview. Mancow.com, you can follow him on Twitter. We'll put that up on screen for TV viewers, and I'll give it out to radio listeners. I'm a fan of Harry Lennox just when I see him in movies and stuff. He's a very good actor. And uh, it turns out he's basically the same age as Obama, and is really good, had been friends with Obama and basically lived with Obama, is how he put it. Might as well have lived with him, was the words he said to Mancow. He came on Mancow's show, but he got a chance to talk to him off air. And, of course, he's now the, uh, the uh, hit uh, actor uh, on uh, Blacklist. But he joins us uh, to, 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 to break down this inside intel on, on what he said behind the scenes about Obama. So, Mancal, thank you so much for coming on with us today. And, and, and repeat what you said on your radio show uh, to me about Harry Lennox. We'll put Harry Lennox up on screen for folks that may not recognize the name. Uh, go ahead. Alex, Alex, look, uh, I do want to say MSNBC and all of these people are dying. Your model is a brilliant model for the future. Um, someday I want to come on and tell you the truth about Glenn Beck. I actually know the truth that nobody else knows. It is, uh, it is somewhat heartbreaking when you reveal these things. And, uh, and, of course, you're dealing with morons that don't know. And they go, no, 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 no. They want, to, they want to believe the Matrix. And I understand it. They still want to believe the hope and change. They want to believe Obamacare. Uh, look, I sold my condo. And a politician today said, so in, in Chicago, I just couldn't handle the taxes and the hassle. It's such a hassle to, to live in, in Obama's town of yeah, Chicago. Yeah, they're doubling the property taxes, even though property value is down in Chicago yeah. land. Yeah, but but somebody said to me today, a politician, Jack Franks, you can look up who he is. I, I think he's one of the good ones. But he said to me, he goes, man, Cal, thank God you sold your condo, because now every house and condo that sells, 5% of every sale in America has to go to Obamacare. And I said, oh, that's a joke. He goes, no, no, it's true. Is that true, Alex? No, no, that is in the bill. In fact, I actually have an article about it right here. I'm glad you mentioned that. Go but, ahead. But, but can you believe that? And I, I want to say something else to the people. Look, I, I would put Alex on, and, 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 I, and I, I don't give a hairy rat's ass anymore. The, the asses are masses. The masses are asses. And they look, they voted for Obama twice. So, I, you know, I don't care what people think of me. I just don't care. But, but um, you know, Alex, I, I made fun of you. We laughed at you. We had a, we had a good laugh at your expense. Uh, I thought you were insane. Drones in American skies, never. Uh, light posts that would listen to us, never. The white boxes that are all over in England that are listening and gathering data, ridiculous. Blimps in the sky. I, I really thought you were uh, a jackass. 
And boy, brother, you were the canary in the coal mine. Um, so there you go. It's funny how none of us, uh, when you're right, nobody ever says it, do they? It's all uh, knee-slapping hilarious when you're saying some of these things. But uh, my God, man, I, I wish you were wrong. I really do. Believe I me, I wish that too, brother, every day. I've got... I, I, and, and, and I do too. You know what, Alex? I really do. I wish I was wrong. I wish I didn't see it. Ignorance is bliss. I really wish I was hope and change. And, and isn't it great that Acorn's making millions to, to bamboozle people? I, I wish I was one of these fools. I, I often wonder, seriously, instead of toiling and worrying about my children, if I wouldn't just be better with my fat, diabetic foot being cut off by Obamacare with my Obama phone and everything taken care of. Actor Harry Lennox came in. This is earth-shattering, earth-shaking. And I want to tell you, I get discouraged. I don't have to work. I, I sometimes want to walk away. I met a man named Jay Farrow, very cutting-edge comedian from SNL. Brilliant, beautiful human being. It renews, it renews me. Uh, you get cynical. You meet these jag-offs, these jerks. Harry Lennox comes in at, at a low point. I was ready to pull the plug. This guy is the star of The Blacklist, the number one hottest new show on TV with James Bader. He was, many will remember, he was the general in Superman. He's a top, maybe the top African-American Shakespearean actor. He's got a, a version of Henry V coming out. So he's leaving my studio and he sees a cutout we have of Obama. And he says, well, he's a rat bastard. And I said, what? He goes, oh, oh, because I'm black, I have to like Obama. And we're laughing. I mean, he's, he's, the guy's a wonderful human being. He starts laughing. And we're kind of kidding a little. And he says, man, Cal, do I remind you of him? And I said, well, I, I don't want to say anything. He goes, oh, yeah, because all black people are the same. And he's laughing some more. He goes, man, Cal, Barack Obama is me. He goes, you've seen me on TV. You've seen me in movies. He is me. And I said, what, what are you talking about? What, what are you saying? He goes, do I remind you of Obama? And I said, well, yeah, you do. He goes, he mimicked me. He followed me for years. And they wanted me to train him and teach him how to act. This is Harry Lennox's words. I've got some of my crew here. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And what was the word? Like an educated ship. Southside, educated African American. Put your crew member as a witness on. This is national news. Put him on. Okay. Uh, okay. Which this crew is, member is it? It's the guy's name is Nathan. He's one of my producers. Here you go. Oh, sir. Nathan, this was during a break. Tell us, tell us what Lennox said. Yeah, so exactly what Manka said. He he called me uh, uh, Barack Obama. He said that guy's a rap bastard. So I, he goes, he named me for years. Uh, I trained him to be a Southside educated African uh, American black man from Chicago. Um, exactly what Mankell said. And he was taught to act like Barack Obama. Or, or, or Harry Lennox was taught Barack Obama. And it's on record. Yeah, I, I looked can. this up when Mankell told me this yesterday that they are friends and knew each other for years. Uh, but uh... That's right. He says he's known him since 1992. Spent many hours with him at his house talking for hours. Uh, he says the only person that knows him better than him would be Michelle Obama. Unbelievable. And he went on to say that he's a rat bastard and, and amazing. Uh, tell folks, uh, thanks for talking to us. Uh, please put Mankow you, back sir. on. Thank you. Man, uh, sh Alex, Mankow, this is at the end of the interview. He's leaving or during a break. Alex, Alex, I, I hate you bringing this guy into it because, you know, now he's going to get audited. You and, I, you and I get attacked every year. I get audited illegally every year. They've never gotten one dime. And also, you have to understand something. Harry Lennox has to work in Hollywood. Um, and I, I, I really love the guy, and I hope I don't get him in trouble by revealing this. But he did say, I know him. Uh, probably only Michelle knows him better than I do. And he said he's very stupid. He's been taught to act like this. And I said, Here, here's the thing that I want to. To me, this is the bomb. Bring up the CIA stuff. Yeah, yeah, bring that up. Well, I, I, CIA, brother, I don't know CIA. No, no, no. Tell me what you told me. But, I mean, get into the fact that you're saying he knew he would be president forever. I mean, repeat what well, you told me off air. Well, you, you just stole my thunder. Well, go ahead. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, look, I said, I said, how long did he know he was going to be president? He said, well, he knew from 1998. And I said, from childhood, he goes, I don't know. 
I, I said, but definitely 98. He goes, and maybe earlier. Now, this is, this is a man that hadn't done anything. And, and Alex, you and I talk about this. Do, do I have time or are you going to come? Yes, me you off? got time. Do it. Okay. Folks, you know, I, I understand people. You know, you hate George W. Bush, but then the people that love Obama and he does all the same stuff. I, I don't care if people hate Obama or hate Bush or hate, as long as they're intellectually honest. This party first Nazi attitude, you know, well, yeah, they're rounded up my neighbors that I love, but I'm, hey, I'm, I'm part of the party. This party first attitude frightens me. I just want people, you can hate me, you can hate Alex, you can love Obama, you can hate the Bush, you can hate whatever. But I just want you to, to be honest with yourself. Have you known anyone, I think of my friend Rusty Humphreys, whose dad was killed in Vietnam. Here's a couple of little, you know, blurry pictures. Anyone in your family, any, anybody you've ever known that went to Vietnam, they had a couple. Of, I mean, think of what the technology was. And yet John Kerry had film crews. John Kerry was a nobody. John Kerry has color footage of him fighting in Vietnam. The boy from Hope, Arkansas, from a divorced family, a nobody. Bill Clinton has pictures as a child of him hanging out with JFK. Dwight D. Eisenhower's granddaughter told me that these people know from birth. I think of the boys from Brazil, that, that, that old movie, but whatever. I just wonder, are, I mean, it really, Obama knew in 98 he was going to be president. Who are, the, you, Alex, you claim to know, I, 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 you know, you've been right on so much. I don't know, I don't have any clue. 100% Bill Clinton was a CIA project. He is the son of the former governor, uh, the Rockefeller governor. His mother was a lady of the night. They decided to have the baby. That's why he's broken down and cried on TV and said there were only two people that thought he could be president in 1962 when he met Kennedy, and that was his mama and David Rockefeller. Thank you, David Rockefeller, and he broke down and cried because you know, the Rockefellers took care of him because he was an illegitimate child of the family. He was then put into a CIA program in high school. He then became uh, one of the head CIA people by the late 60s. Under the CIA section chief, we have the names with Hillary, uh, in England. And then he was sent to Russia as a deep cover spy. Uh, he's been CIA since high school, at least. Same thing with Obama, his mother, his grandfather, his mother. That's all been partially declassified. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. No, it, 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 is, it is amazing that Bill Clinton was hanging out in uh, Russia when he was. Uh, but, but anyway, look, Alex, I, I don't know. I, I, look, I don't know who is, who's picking these people. But it does seem scripted. It does seem like, I mean, look, everything that Bush did, and you can play all the audio, everything that Bush did, Obama's doing. So no matter how we vote, we get more of them. And I mean the government. I mean and look the at Bush Sr., head out. of the CIA. Look at uh, look at Bush Jr. Clearly was in the CIA earlier, and 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 all of this is how they put in. Just like foreign governments used to try to bring people into a country, get them to run for president or prime minister later to infiltrate. That's why we have rules against foreign born being president here, like Schwarzenegger. It's the same thing, but this is a corporate, long term strategic takeover plan. Brother, I look. You know, like everything else you say, I hope it's not true. Uh, God, I, I hope, I, I mean, I, I'd like to think that any child can be born an American, and if he does it right, he can be president. I don't know. Sure, uh, but it, 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 let me ask you this. Yeah. Lennox, yeah. rising actor, top actor on TV, movies, a great actor. Why do you think he started uh, uh, off air talking so much trash about Obama? Well, I, you know what, Alex? The show was over. Uh, I don't know that. I, I didn't know the man, and I, I want to tell you, he's one of the finest human beings I've ever met in my life. Uh, I, 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 I don't know that he wouldn't have talked about it on air, and I, I hope I'm not violating a confidence. But look, this guy walked out and said it in front of my whole staff. I, hey, hey, I, hey, hey, I would have said this is off record. Exactly. He should have said that, so it's on record. Well, and, and look, I, I have, you know, my show's broadcast on TV in Chicago. There are TV cameras um, you know, in the studio, yeah. I had, I, you know, we're at the Fox Studios in Chicago, right on Michigan Avenue. I mean, I had, I had camera people, producers, um, four or five people. We stood around and we listened to them. I, I don't think I'm violating the confidence. I hope I don't hurt the man. I think the blacklist is the great. I don't like, uh, like you, I don't like any of this mainstream TV. 
I happen to like uh, the blacklist a great deal. I don't want to hurt the man. But uh, he did say it. He did. And if you, if you watch the guy, it's funny. I mean, he is Obama. And he says Obama's a nothing. Alex, I told, I've spent time with Obama. I spent time with Obama before he was anybody. And, and there's nothing there. Look, I, I can explain to everybody who Obama is. If, if you give me 30 seconds, I'll explain it. Do it. Okay. I dated a girl that was severely abused by several stepdads. She was molested. She was abandoned. And she was whatever you wanted her to be. Okay? And, and, and what I mean by that is it's a defense mechanism. I think Obama probably had a miserable childhood, and he's a nothing. There was no father. There was the mother that abandoned him. She, she was chasing after, you know, so much has been hidden about her, but she was, it wouldn't have been too hard to sleep with her. No, 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 his, his, his mother was in porn. So, so she, you know, she was, he was dumped off in, in, in Kansas. Tell you what, final uh, segment, stay there. We're going to come back, do uh, six more minutes. I want you to finish the story. I'm Alex Jones with Man Cow. Stay with us. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for truth seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Final segment with Man Cow. It had behind you can follow him on Twitter. We'll put that up on screen for TV viewers uh, here in a moment. But he was getting into Harry Lennox, who's a big actor. We looked it up on record, been friends with Obama for 15 years or so or longer. And he told Man Cow, and I mean, Man Cow, in your words, uh, folks can follow you at Man Cow Muller uh, on Twitter, that, the, and he said this in front of your whole TV crew there at the Fox Studios in Chicago. You also have a TV show there, folks that just tuned in. And, of course, you also are a contributor to Fox National. He told you in front of all these people that he's horrible. I basically, you know, lived with him. He shadowed me. I mean, this shows that they hired an actor yeah. to, tr to literally try to train him up, I guess, for the Senate seat in the, in, in, at, at the state level and then the uh, federal level. And he did just come out of nowhere. This is bombshell news, but I don't expect them to even pick this up because the, the establishment obviously doesn't want this info out. But, but, but recap anything else that Lennox said and finish your point. Well, look, um, the, the, I, I don't know where to begin, Alex. Uh, he said that Obama shadowed him, that he couldn't shake him. It was kind of like a booger on your finger uh, is kind of the feeling I got, that he couldn't shake him and that there's nothing there. And that's the point I wanted to make about abused children, that, that, you know, in order to protect themselves, they want to make everybody happy. So as I sat talking to Obama, you know, he was Christian with me. He was Muslim with the next person that came over and talked to him. And uh, he, he's whatever you want him to be, but there's nothing there. And that's basically what Lennox was saying. There's nothing there. He's, he's, a, he's just a... He's an empty vessel. He's whatever you want him to be. And uh, perfect to be manipulated, a perfect puppet. You know, uh, I, I, I thought about um, when Brian Henson was in my studio and Kermit was sitting there and it was just a green, a green glob, but it came to life once his hand was there, you know, once the hand uh, was manipulating. And that's kind of Obama. He's, he's just kind of, there's nothing there. It's dead uh, until uh, his backers, his controllers, uh, Put, the, put, what's on, you know, put what he needs to say on the teleprompter. Uh, there's nothing there. I mean, he's very stupid. I, I talked with him, Alex. You know that. I spent time with him before he was anybody. I knew more about the church, that abomination of a church, before I knew about Obama. But, but Lennox uh, is a brilliant actor. Uh, I, I, and, and if you watch him, that's what Obama's supposed to act like. The take charge leader. 
And it's weird because um, when you watch yeah. Lennox, I thought he was copying Obama and Superman and, and in TV shows and stuff. And I guess that's why Lennox is oh. irritated because he's seeing he trained Obama and now he sees him up there destroying the country, playing the part of Harry Lennox. Yeah. Th th this is huge. Man, Cal, thank you so much for the time and your courage. Hey, 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 Alex? Yes, sir. I, I, I want to say this. I really believe that Lennox is one of the finest people I've ever met. I think that uh, he probably wasn't aware of, of how this would go with Obama. Uh, he did know back in 98 uh, that, that, you know, that Obama was telling him he was going to be president. I don't think Harry believed that. And I do think that Harry Lennox loves his country. So I, I, I really do believe that. Yeah, and I think for Harry's own safety, it's good this is out now. Contact Lennox. Hey, help us get him on, Man Cal. We'll have him on with you. So I think we should flesh this out now. This is a big deal. Thank you very much, Man Cal. See you. All right, there goes Eric Mancal Muller, um, top show on History Channel. He's got two more TV shows coming out and uh, syndicated radio host. He's a pretty credible guy telling you all that intel. Uh, briefly, ladies and gentlemen, we're only running this for a couple more weeks because we're going to end up selling out of them. This happens. We do this every fall, but they're selling out so quick. 20% off on all the Pro Pure, Gravity Fed, highest quality stainless steel filters that cuts out the fluoride, the glyphosates, all of it. Promo code WATER20 at InfoWarsStore.com. And it is your purchases that support this broadcast. And we bring you the very best products, the lowest prices. Promo code WATER20 at InfoWarsStore.com or when you call 888 Two five three three one three nine, and we got more of the amazing proprietary nascent pure iodine in. It's available now and now shipping at InfoWarsLife.com for your thyroid protection. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> InfoWars.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>